Speaking in the opening session of the parliament, President Ghani sounded quite optimistic about peace making a comeback in his country. He believes the prospect for peace has never been as better in the last 14 years as today. The president then broke this big news to the lawmakers that peace talks with the Taliban are set to begin very soon. Restoration of peace is our number one goal, and this goal cannot be achieved through bloodshed but talks and negotiations that will happen soon. Since taking office in September, Ashraf Ghani has improved the country's tattered dealings with Pakistan. He believes that peace here is inconceivable without the help of Islamabad. But it's not the only approach. Kabul has also launched a massive operation against the Taliban in the southern province of Helmand. This is the first operation that the Afghan army is carrying out on its own without any backing from the NATO military forces. And it has gone well so far. The enemies of our country wanted to capture the control of some provinces after our forces assumed control from NATO. However, their plans failed. Our forces are making progress and leading operations, particularly in Helmand. This means that the government of Afghanistan is laying out two policies in parallel. One is based on reconciliation and the other on force. Now the question is if Afghan politicians would be able to get the Taliban to the negotiating table amidst the ongoing massive operation in Helmand. Thousands of Afghan forces are now fighting against the Taliban in the southern province of Helmand to keep them out of the villages ahead of the militant group's spring offensive. Afghan security forces have successfully pushed the Taliban away in the past, but it has often been very difficult for them to keep those areas. Thousands of Afghan civilians were killed last year during the Taliban deadly attacks. Fires for Sheen, Press TV, Kabul.